out first this week, boys, and I have been playing a Nintendo game. <laughs> uh, something I won on a, another Twitter competition, and I would never have picked up this game unless it was because of the competition, and it is Pokemon Shield. My history with Pokemon... Uh, once the My Gaming story comes out, you'll have a little bit more about my history of Pokemon. But basically, I was a little bit too old to play the the Pokemon Red and Blue when they came out on, on the Game Boy originally. So Pokemon kind of passed me by. I think the only other Pokemon game I played beforehand was on the DS, and I believe it was Pearl. And I can't remember if Pearl was a remake on the DS or whether it was actually on the DS. I played it for about five or six hours, got through to a cave, um, and then because of certain Pokemon were just jumping out, you know, those random encounters, classic of the of the old Pokemon RPGs, um, I gave up. So I thought, come on, I'm a Nintendo gamer. I've got to finish at least one Pokemon game in my lifetime. Uh, so I thought, well, what better time than now? And I have finished it. And I've done the additional quests after the main, main quest as well. The campaign's over. And I've seen everything that I want to see. And I've spent about 35 hours in total. Um, my first impressions were pretty positive, to be honest. People's negative, <laughs> you know, the trees, yeah? People's negative impressions of the graphics, first of all. Um, I didn't get any of that. I, I, I felt, just looking at the game, it's got this incredibly vibrant style, and it was helped by one of the characters. His name is Hop. He's your rival and your best friend in this uh, first community you start in. His enthusiasm is in, you know, it's in contagious, basically. You know, every time he speaks, he's like, I'm going to be number one. And he shakes his fists to his side and he's, he's, he's like, Oh, let's do it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, through him, I felt, yeah, let's go. Let's, let's get away with it. So my first impressions were, Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. This is good. Um, as the game, well, but by the way, when I, when I started, I chose Sobo as my, um, uh, for, uh, what is it, starter Pokemon, which is that um, blue crying baby chameleon water-based Pokemon. Um, and then your rival Hop, he automatically chooses, and I've tested this out because Morgan tried it, and Morgan chose um, the, the, the the leaf one. I can't remember. It's a little monkey, and he, Grookey, Grookey. Um, he chose the Hop, then chose the weak Pokemon to my Pokemon. So he chose the fire Pokemon, which is uh, Scorbunny, um, which obviously sets up that, oh, I've got to take you down many times. And as you go throughout the game, yes, you fight your rival many, many times throughout the entirety of the campaign. Um, so as I'm going through it and collecting Pokemon and doing things, that I can see that the, the changes that people have talked about, things like your team levels up all your team so not only the pokemon you fight with in a, in a battle but if you choose a pokemon to fight in a battle they'll get the full xp and then every other member of your team that you didn't choose but are in your team in your hand uh they level up half the experience that is priceless i mean i can't imagine the torture <laughs> of of leveling up every single pokemon individually it would have added, you know, I, I finished the game in 35 hours. It would have added like three, I would have been three times the length of the game just to make sure I was at the right level so I could have beaten the final boss. So the inclusion of that automatic leveling up is just wonderful. Can't praise that enough. Now, that's enough of the praise. What did, <laughs> <laughs> what did Pokemon do wrong? Voice acting. What's what's up with voice acting? There's, I've posted this so many times. You know, there's this rock guy. He comes out. He's he's one of the gym leaders. He comes out. He puts the mic on. That they he's doing a mic test. He's slapping the mic and it's making a feedback sound. And and you're ready for him to sing. And the text comes up on the bottom. And he's blah blah blah. His mouth is moving away. And there's just no sound. It's so weird in places, you know, and, and it's so jarring that you've created these animations for people to talk, 
and nothing's coming out. Team Yell. Team Yell, uh, well, one of your rivals is called Marnie. She's, uh, she will obviously in the future take over from this rock legend's goth she is, basically. So she's a kind of rocker herself. And Team Yell, unfortunately, is silent. You know, they're all, yay, come on, Marnie. And you can't hear anything they're saying. It's so antiquated. And that antiquated persistence goes throughout the entirety of the game. The battle system is just so static, so slow, so finicky, so that you're pressing A through every little box, you know, something comes up, oh, score bunny got hit by fire, uh, A. Oh, and then it shows the animation. So it'll show you, you know, you, you, you're both looking there, you go slightly behind your character when you're fighting, and then you can see your enemy across the, across the battlefield. And then, right, you choose a move, right, I choose a move, and then it shows a little animation, and that's another uh, thing, the animations. Whoever, I don't know how the Pokemon community are bigging up the animations in this game. They're, 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 <laughs> I saw your tweet. <laughs> <laughs> One, they're non-existent. Two, they're badly done when they are existent. The, the, the way they rotate on spot, you know, they don't turn. They just rotate like old Resident Evil characters, you know. It's it's really really antiquated um uh, and it ages the game even though through i said there's vibrant vibrancy in the, in its colorful depiction of this world there there are some scenes when you come out of your house in the beginning and it looks like a, an english pasture it is beautiful and then my character moves <laughs> and i'm reminded oh this is a game freak game <laughs> so the battle system then so i'll do my move and it'll show this terribly animated scene where or like scratch she and her hand goes the scratch makes a mark and i, I don't hit the pokemon it's it's inferred and then the dialogue box comes up like oh you've hit this pokemon press a the pokemon went down this hp press a press a and it's all this pressing a to go through these little dialogue boxes of telling me what i've just done instead of doing it pictorially you know a good animation and bang and then the hp goes down and i don't need to know what's happened i just saw what happened antiquated and the music i i from what i can remember and what i've played of like smash brothers and and pokemon music the music hasn't changed and throughout the entirety of the game when you're battling apart from the gym leaders the music changes for the gym leaders every single battle has the same battle music and it, oh God, does that song get repetitive after a while? <laughs> um, and it's easy. I mean, they've aimed, and I, I suppose what, what I, what I don't understand is your Pokemon, when it came out initially, the kind of marketing would have been for nine, 10, 11, 12 year olds, that early teens. And the game would have been aimed at them with a certain level. But people have grown up now. And I know, yes, you're still pushing it at children. But the game is just far too easy. I, I was going into gym leaders and one-shotting their entire team. You know, there are four Pokemon in a row. I've got six, so I've got an advantage already. And then the first Pokemon that comes out, you know, like, uh, he's the fire team leader. He's going to choose a fire Pokemon, so I'll choose my water Pokemon. But then when you want, uh, so I've one shot at him because my Pokemon's maybe five or six levels above theirs. One shot their Pokemon. Then it will tell you which Pokemon they're going to come out next. So a quick little search on Google, I, I, if I don't know the Pokemon, who's that Pokemon? Oh, he's a water Pokemon. I better get a leaf Pokemon. And you, and then they put their water Pokemon out. I swapped out for a leaf, one shot, one shot. I'm just one shot in everything. Um, I never, the entirety of the 35 hours, I only lost one Pokemon battle. And that was because I accidentally bumped into one of those, like if you think of Xenoblade, Nick, when you bump into one of those large Roman Pokemon in the middle that you should dodge because you know they're going to be over, over leveled. I bumped into one of those and lost a fight. Everybody else, like rivals and everybody coming up and, and coming up to me. And this is another thing is that this enthusiasm that Hop has in the beginning of the game made me enthusiastic it wears thin halfway through the game in that 
hops enthusiasm turns into just blind uh, what, what's the word blind uh, arrogance <laughs> And this happens with all the trainers and rivals as well. If you got four Pokemon, I just one-shotted three of your Pokemon in a row. You're going to tell me which Pokemon you're sending out next. And then they come out with a quick, like, you back me in the corner. But watch out, because this is when I'm at my best. And then I one-shot your Pokemon again. <laughs> uh, so I enjoyed some of my time with Pokemon. But it's no Xenoblade. That's my kind of summation of it. Xenoblade does everything a hundred times better. Sorry, Pokemon. That's my first po first Pokemon game I finished and will probably be my last. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, pretty much everything that you've described there doesn't sound dissimilar from Pokemon Red and Blue. Ah, uh, okay. The only thing is, I think it was easier because obviously you had... Like back in the day, and yeah. I'm sure if anybody can correct me on this, they will. But the fact that you had to level up the Pokemon individually was what was what like what was the challenge basically. Like if yes. you, you wanted a good Pokemon, you had to use it. You know, you had to use it against higher level Pokemon and prepared prepare to have it like killed and stuff like that. And another thing, again, correct me if I'm wrong about this, but as I understand, the reason the Pokemon don't hit each other and physically is because it's a game for kids and it's always been like this even pokemon stadium yeah. back on the n64 when it first went into 3d they never show the pokemon hitting each other ever there's there's a couple of animations like um Ar arcanine was one of my favorite pokemon he's this legend apparently sub legendary mm. uh fire type cat uh, like dog yes he, mm. he looks like a cat as well he's a, a like a tiger he looks like he has his flamethrower and there's a couple of animations i thought oh that's quite nice and you know the flamethrower the flames come out and burst into the face of my opponent but moves and and stuff that actually damage or hit the other pokemon are few and far between physical moves they don't show yeah physical yeah. moves yeah yeah so that's why scratch it's just like three lines across the screen yes yeah, yeah. yeah. you've uh you've not really sold me on this game lee <laughs> <laughs> um knowing what i know now would i go back and play it yes but my, my motivation for playing it was i need to finish a pokemon game mm -hmm. and i fulfilled another uh, bucket list, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can also check out our other great content on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the Any Cafe podcast from all good podcast providers. Just follow the links in the description below.